following photographs were all taken from an album compiled by a German submariner who sailed on the UC-21, one of the most successful German submarines of the First World War. From her first patrol in November 1916 until she went missing in September 1917, she sank no less than 98 ships, totalling over 130,000 tonnes. Most of these successes were scored by her first commander, Reinhold Salzfedel. In the early part of the war, German U-boats were generally surfaced to attack enemy merchant ships, which at this stage were largely unarmed. The ship's crew would be given time to get into their lifeboats and pull away from the ship before it was sunk, either by gunfire or explosive charges laid by a boarding party. These boarding parties often took the opportunity to requisition food and other useful items before the ship went down. This situation drastically changed on the 1st of February 1917 when the German government authorised a policy of unrestricted submarine warfare. This allowed its U-boat commanders to attack and sink without warning any ships carrying cargoes destined for Britain and her allies including ships from neutral countries such as the United States. Not surprisingly, merchant shipping losses increased dramatically. Although the names of some of these ships have been lost over time, these photographs give a very clear picture of the dangers faced by the crews of merchant steamships, sailing vessels and even fishing boats in this deadly war at sea. This 1,700 ton steamship was built in 1888 at the Realton Dixon shipyard in Middlesbrough and launched as the Fulford. Her original owners, J. M. Leonard and Sons, sold her in 1899 to Spanish Asnar and Co. based in Bilbao. Although she was a neutral ship, she was nevertheless stopped and sunk by UC-21 on the 2nd of December 1916 while on a voyage from Bilbao to Cardiff with a cargo of iron ore, there was no loss of life. The Long Scar was a 2,700 tonne steamship built at the William Gray shipyard in West Hartlepool in 1903 for Thomas W. Willis, a well-known West Hartlepool ship owner. On the 14th of February 1917, on passage from Nantes to Bilbao in ballast, she was stopped and sunk by UC-21 off the west coast of France, fortunately with no casualties. March 18th, 1917, the UC-21 stopped the 5,000-ton American tanker Illinois while she was on passage in ballast from London to Port Arthur in Texas. This was an almost brand new ship, having been launched just four years earlier from the Newport News Shipbuilding and Dry Dock Company in Virginia, and owned by the Texas Company of New York, better known today as Texaco. As America was still neutral at this time, her crew had painted a large American flag and their ship's name and country of origin on the sides of the hull, but all to no avail. Once the crew had safely abandoned ship, a German boarding party laid explosive charges, sending the Illinois to the bottom. The Erna was a 2,600 ton Norwegian steamship, originally built as the Carnmuir by Russells of Port Glasgow in 1903. Her original owners, the Dundee Steam Navigation Company, sold her in 1911 to the Scandinavian Shipping Company Limited. They in turn sold her in 1913 to Swedish ship owner Otto Bank who changed her name to Erna. She kept this name when she was sold to her final owners, the Allison Shipping Company, in 1916. She was stopped and sunk by UC-21 on May 28, 1917, when some 10 miles off the northeast coast of Spain on passage from Moroccan port Melilla to Barrow in Finesse with a cargo of iron ore. Sailing vessel Marie on December the 6th, 1916, on a voyage from Liverpool to tonnet Charente in France with a cargo of pitch, she was stopped and sunk by UB-29, some 10 miles west of the Scilly Isles. There were no lives lost. Built in Norway in 1871, 
The Rufus was a small wooden brig captured and sunk by UB-37 in the North Sea on August 11, 1916. This 44-year-old ship was on a voyage from Norway to Sunderland with a cargo of pit props when she was captured. Very difficult to sink by gunfire or even explosive charges, these photographs show that the U-boat's boarding party have resorted to setting her on fire.